He did that. What's up, what's up, what's the word, word, your boy Black Ranger here, and welcome back for another week of Black Ranger's Blurred Life. We explore all things legendary and nostalgic in the world of Blurreds and Nerds, especially video games and toys, and that's right, you guys, as you saw in the intro, got some game hunting done this week with the man VGV, video game votary, and the man himself, Mr. Rightway. We got together, went out to College Park, Maryland, and hit up a store named Pandora's Cube, awesome store i'll definitely be going back great selection as you will see in the video but before we hop into that just want to take some time to say thank you for coming by this week if it's your first time please 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 stay for the entire video watch it let me know what you think about it if you enjoyed please go ahead and hit that like button and if you want to see more hit the subscribe button and turn on the bell for notifications if you want them if not i'm here every week except for last week. But yes, make sure you tune in each and every week for some more fun. We are on a quest right now to build up the complete North American Nintendo 64 game library. And we're making some great progress each and every week. And Pandora's Cube, we made even more progress. All right, you guys, but before we get into that, just want to give a quick shout out to this new company that I found, you guys. All right, you guys, so I recently found a new company named Ficity. I was actually looking for some glasses to wear when I'm gaming. You know how you can sit down on a game for a while or even when you're watching TV, staring at your computer screen and it starts to irritate your eyes. You might get a little headache or anything like that. So I was looking for some glasses to combat that. So I found some blue blocking glasses by Ficity and... Yeah, I love the frames, you know what I'm saying? They're, they're definitely cool frames. They actually look like my wife's regular glasses. She has some regular glasses just like this, but they come in this nice box with the name on it. Um, you get a few things on the inside. So right here, uh, we got a little clip right here, and it just lets you know uh, to help you see that. Uh, it's called the Blu-ray test card, so you can test if the color uh, fades away, the blue hint of blue hue it comes with this nice white for your glasses and then here are the frames you guys now these ones they're just reg they look like they could be regular glasses that anybody could wear but these are definitely cool frames i was looking for them and i was like oh i like that style I like the clear frames and i had a couple of different pair but i decided to go with these and even putting these on right now it's even cutting down the blue tint and the blue hue that you get when you're, you know, playing games or anything like that. It helps you to focus, keeps you from getting that headache from staring at the screen a long time. But not only did they have these, uh, they were gracious enough to actually send me out a few different pair of glasses, uh, just a few different ones to test out. So most of them, they uh, say like costume glasses or anything. So these are uh, oversized fashion glasses, as they say. But I look at them as kind of like costume glasses if anybody remember my man's flap jackington he had some uh some cool frames which they sent me something like this but just when you're out on the town or some a hot summer day you're chilling somewhere put on some khaki or anything like that and you just want to rock out these some nice brown frames right here to, you know the sides and they fit really nice you know they're nice and tight and you know they come with different things and even for those of uh who enjoy running and exercising again the white they sent these kind of fashionable running glasses right here these are kind of cool they got the little sports strap that you can throw on but these kind of have like a retro feel to them um if you see by the size of them very cool and then you got the red frames kind of so you out cycling running exercise anything like that keep the sun out your eyes keep the glare out keep the bugs from running into you but still some kind of stylish frames to wear when you're out doing anything like that all right you guys so definitely check out Feisty, Feisty. i didn't ask him how to pronounce it but i did hit him up and tell them about you know what i thought about their glasses so far since i got them so definitely give them a check and now let's actually get into the hunt you guys let's get it
He buying he buying everything they got in the store, y'all. You a long boss man, man. Trying to be long boss man. <laughs> I don't know. I don't buy everything. I buy you one robot. All the good stuff, man. Y'all come out the Pandora's Cube. All right, you guys. So as you see, we had a pretty good time in Pandora's Cube. Didn't record a lot because I was really just looking at all the N64 titles they had and checking off my list. And guess what, you guys? I upgraded myself, you know, it's 2023. I got rid of my manual list and I now use Game Eye to actually keep track of my game so I can actually just start typing in the game to see if it's in my library or not. So that's a great thing. Wanted to start it somewhat early because you can take pictures of the game and put it in, but sometimes it's a little harder depending on the type of game or scan the barcode. But these N64 cartridges, it wasn't really scanning well, so I got to enter them in all manually, so I'd rather start now than later. So yes, it's going to be a lot easier when I'm out game hunting now, you guys, but as I said, got some good things, so let's just hop into this bag. So the first thing I'm going to pull out is actually a PlayStation soundtrack disc. Now, the uh, one of the owners actually handed these to us. Uh, Mr. Right Way, Video Game Voter Rumi, he handed uh, this soundtrack. So this is Volume 2. Got things from Uncharted and Infamous, God of War, so-called Resistance, different things like that. But definitely a cool, cool thing to add, you know, whether I just sit it on the PlayStation shelf once I actually get that organized again, because um, I'm still doing the remodeling. But he threw that in there. Now let's actually hop into the games. No order, just pulling them out. And you can see the prices on here, he did give me a good deal. If you actually check out Mr. Rightway's video, you can actually hear the deal I got because he was recording while I was getting it. But the first thing we got is Multi-Racing Championship, uh, just another fun sports game. And again, I, I told him, I said, I'm trying to walk out with everything under $15. So I almost did pretty much that. So Multi-Racing Championship, number one. Next, we got Wayne Gretzky. 98 this is a 3d hockey game so that's cool add that in the collection then next we got asteroid 64 hyper or asteroid hyper 64 so another cool game to add boom 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 then we got extreme g this was always a fun racing game, so I'm glad I can finally add this in the collection. I didn't own it before, but I played it a lot. So I'm glad I can add that in. Then kind of a, a well-known title, I mean, really from the Super uh, Nintendo, but we got Pilot Wings 64. So that's kind of a classic title to add in there. Then we've got Automobile Lamborghini. Is that Automobile? Automobili Lamborghini. So, haven't checked this out, haven't seen a lot on it. Um, from the price of $4.99, you can tell it's just one of those kind of common games, but we gotta check off common games too. And then the last game we've got, as we're on the quest to a complete 64 set, is Quest 64. Now, I've seen a bunch of things about this, and I was like, I really wanna add this in. So, was finally able to get it. This was one of, this was the better of the two copies they had in there. Um, it was a little more than the other one, but that's fine, you know. And again, I'm not really in looks in it for the look of the game. I just wanna own them and actually play every Nintendo 64 game from a North American set. And that's what I plan to do. So we did all that, got some cards right here. So if you're ever in the College Park area of Maryland, make sure you visit Pandora's Cube. Great store, great staff. They definitely work with you, especially if you get multiple things. And here's the receipt, but you don't need to see that. But yes, guys, seven more games to add to the N64 collection. It feels so good to keep adding games to the collection. I'm very happy with it, and the N64 games will be one of the main displays because my favorite system, and it's my first real quest, I'd say, or um, collection that I'm going for for any system so I'm gonna add all these and there will be a great display that I have in mind for these and in the coming weeks as I finish up 
the game, the Blurred Cave, Blurred Cave. You'll be able to see it, but yes, seven more games. I'm very happy to add these in there. I think I'm almost close to 80 games at this point now. So we're making progress. We're moving right along. And hopefully, you know, this just continues again. All right, guys. So again, thanks for stopping by. If you know any great spots in the Maryland, uh, Southern Maryland, Northern Maryland, Baltimore, Virginia uh, areas for games or game hunting or just any retro type of hunting, even toys and comics, clothes, anything like that, let me know in the comments if you know anywhere and then hopefully I'll be able to get there and hopefully we can meet up with some people. I, I do have a few more people in the area that I want to link up with and uh, hopefully we can make that happen soon and then there are some people out on the other coast that I want to get uh, to meet up with but gotta wait a little while till baby girl gets a little older because right now she is running things around here but yes you guys thanks for sticking by through the entire video I hope you enjoyed these seven games and don't forget check out Feasity I don't this is not sponsored by the way just thought I'd let you know this is not sponsored just a cool company you can find them on Amazon um, I think these were like $11.99 or $14.99 something but good price and cool frames for what it is different colors whatever you want check them out and yeah so again thanks for stopping by Hope you're having a great week. Hope you're enjoying uh, whatever you're doing with your family and friends. And always remember to love up on your family and friends because you never know what could be the last time. And we're going to keep enjoying this bird life together, baby. I'm out. Six.